Hey everybody, welcome to yet another video here on the Washington Maniacs YouTube channel. If you are new here, thank you for joining us. Consider subscribing. I try to put out content as much as possible in my makeshift studio. Okay, well, um, you know, a little bit of background first with this. Uh, normally, I have a little bit more of a professional setup. Uh, well, I don't even know if you can call it professional, but I try to dress it up to be a little bit more uniform in terms of uh, rah rah. You know, this is my you know Washington background and stuff. But uh, since my wife and I have moved, um, I don't really have a room set up. Uh, for a makeshift studio just yet, so I've been kind of doing this in the uh, um, living room slash kitchen area, so that's why you get what you get. So that being said, <laughs> I know because you need to, you really needed to know all that, right? Let's get into today's video. Uh, I just wanted to make this video, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible because I'm also running behind, I have to get to work. Um, is the Washington football team... I, you know, it's going to take me a while to realize that I can say Washington Commanders, okay? It's, all right, I really want to say Washington Redskins, right? Because they're still Redskins to me, but um, it's going to take me a while, folks, all right? Is, is the Washington's um, fan base that toxic? And the reason why I ask is that of course, I follow uh, Twitter a lot, uh, and mostly the reason why that I'm on Twitter, and if you want to follow me, it's um, it's at Greg Sykes 34 uh, Follow me on Twitter. I uh, don't try to really stir the pot a whole lot, but um, it's it's neat to uh, to follow me. Um, that being said, um, I've noticed a lot of things that I, I see on Twitter as far as, uh, you know, football team related stuff anytime that the uh, official twitter account for the commanders posts something that is you know what i would consider benign like you know it's nothing controversial whatsoever uh, for instance let me give you an example uh the other day they had posted uh, promotions um of some of uh, the coaching staff that got promoted to other positions. And some of those promotions came from, um, you know, family members of Ron Rivera, Jack Del Rio. And immediately I go through all of these posts from these fans um, talking about how that basically this was a, uh, Oh, what is the term? I had it in my head, and I've just lost it. Uh, basically, the showing favoritism to um, family members by giving them a favor of a promotion or a job. And, you know, so it's right there. It was like so much negativity. Like, you know, because that they're Ron Rivera's son or Jack Del Rio's son, they automatically get a job with the football team. And because that they are related to them now that suddenly they get promoted you know has nothing to do with their skills or whatnot has nothing to do with the fact that maybe these guys have grew up around football that they have been around football and that they know what they're doing in terms of coaching um you know has nothing to do with that right or has nothing to do with the fact that maybe um you know this is what they have been preparing for all their lives. This is the careers that they want to get themselves into. I mean, did not Mike Shanahan's son, Kyle Shanahan, grow up around football? He got into it the same way. Did he not get a coaching job? Has he not put his team in the Super Bowl? You know, so, I mean, it, they're qualified. If they're qualified to get those promotions, I mean, you know, okay, you can argue, all right, they got into this because they happen to be lucky that their um, their family is, you know, the, the head coach of the football team or the assistant coach of the football team, okay? But look at it this way. Let's say that your, um, 
your father is the owner of a uh, very successful plumbing company in town, maybe the best plumbing company in town, and you want to follow in your father's footsteps. You want to become the best plumber in town because, you know, you admired your father so much and you grew up around the trade and you know it's a very profitable trade and all of this. And so you learn from your father how to become a plumber and he um, allows you a job in his company, which he is very allowed to do. And, you know, so you get that job, you're able to get into it Nobody else maybe would give you that same opportunity, but your father would, and then you become like one of the greatest plumbers ever. All right, so yeah, you were given that opportunity because you happen to have had a father who owned the best plumbing company in town. I don't see much of a difference with that, you know. I mean, yeah, part of it's luck, part of it's like, yeah, well, it's just because that your your father happens to be the coach of the Washington Commanders. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, I think some people are trying to make it into uh, a privilege thing, and I just don't, I don't really get that. Yeah, I guess maybe it is a privilege because he happens to be related, uh, but, you know, if it's something that these these guys are growing up around and they want to be a part of, and it's what their their future uh, plans are to be, then, you know, if they are succeeding and they have really proven that they deserve these promotions, then, you know, I don't really get much in, into why that that's such an issue. So I saw a lot of negativity with that. You know, it's like you can't be happy for anybody. I mean, just so much like poo-poo stuff, you know, it's so much poo-poo stuff. And that's come across a whole lot more since the name has been changed. Um, you know, you, now you, ha you really see the division amongst fans. You see the fans who are purely, I am Washington Redskins for life. Um, I will not support the Washington Commanders. I don't want to have anything to do with the Washington Commanders whatsoever. And then you have the fans who are, I am purely Washington Commanders. Um, I thought the, the Washington Redskins name was racist. I don't even like using that, that name. Um, I think anybody who ever uses that is a racist and all this stuff. And so, um, you know, I, I want to have nothing to do with the past whatsoever, although I do want to make sure that the crest is completely right and has the right Super Bowl dates on it to appease me. Yeah, double standard, right? And uh, so, and then you have those in the middle who are like, well, you know, I didn't like that the name got changed. Uh, I understand if you felt like it needed to be changed. Um, you know, I was okay during the Washington football team days. Uh, really did not care for the commander's name. I'm willing to go along with it as long as the team starts winning. Um, you know, would rather, uh, you know, have had something else like, uh, I don't know, you know, Washington Red Hogs or something like that, but I'm willing to go with what we have now. You know, you have those guys like that. I'm probably more into that, that frame, you know, more of a, I'll, they'll always be Redskins to me, but, you know, I'm willing to try the commanders, even though it's tough. But yeah, you have a division with that as well. You have a division amongst where the team should be as far as a stadium. You Now you, you have fans who are like, if they build this stadium in Virginia at all, you have lost all of your Maryland fans. So there's not going to be anybody going to the stadium because in their minds, there were no Virginia fans whatsoever. Like anybody below Ashburn did not root for the Washington Commanders, Redskins, whoever you want to call them. They didn't exist. That's in their minds, right? So, you know, if the stadium is in Virginia, and especially if it's in Dumfries, then Maryland fans are going to be like, nope, that's too far for us to go. You know, despite the fact that you had fans in Southern Virginia, you know, who had to travel a long ways to get to a game. Uh, and 
you know, fans who live in central green or uh, central North Carolina, like myself, who have to travel a long way to FedEx to watch a home Washington Commanders game, have to go up I-95. You know, hear Maryland fans saying, if I have to travel down to I-95 to go see a game, it's not worth it. Rest of us have to. So, I mean, you know, no one's going to be happy either way. Same way. You know, if they build the stadium next to where the stadium is now in Maryland, Virginia fans going to be like, they've already proven they failed at this. You need to give somebody else a chance. You know, um, the only place it seems like that people can agree on is Washington, D.C., but they're the only place it seems like they're on the outside looking in on all this, right? They don't seem like they have an opportunity whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of legalities, and it would probably take much longer past 2027 before they could even get anything approved. And I don't know if there would be enough, um, you know, of a, of land t- for any of the other proposed stuff that they're proposing. You know, Virginia seems like they're proposing a lot of other um, things built around the stadium. Um, so, you know, really talking about a huge infrastructure um, that would um, come in, not just the stadium itself. And so, you know, that that's something that Virginia is willing to put up a billion dollars for. And Maryland, I don't think, is matching that much money. Now, if they did, who knows? But, um, <clears throat> you know, Dan Snyder or whoever the owner is going to be at some point, um, they're going to follow the money. If Virginia's willing to put up a billion dollars, that's probably where they're going to go. But, yeah, that's another point of where fans are, are you know, so divided. And they're just divided in general, you know. They're divided down to the point of, you know, not liking the uniforms. You know, um, <clears throat> we need to we need to make sure that the the ratio of um, you know diversity is enough. You know, and I'm all about diversity. You know, we need to have diversity, um, but. Fans in general, it's just, it's like they are all, always arguing over every single thing with this team. Arguing. You know, arguing against who the next quarterback should be. You know, which I understand. Now, that's where the arguments should be. You know, who should be the next quarterback? Um, how we should use Antonio Gibson next year? You know, is uh, Curtis Samuel, is he going to have a breakout year next year or is he going to have another injury-riddled year? You know, are we going to sign Terry McLaurin to a, you know, highest wide receiver paid thing, you know, contract? That's what we should be concentrating on. But there's been so much toxicity amongst fans. And I've seen it on Twitter, fans fighting against each other. I mean, it's just bitter. It's just so bitter. And I just don't, you know, I understand it comes with 25 plus years of losing. I get that. But I, I feel like it's something more than that. Um, and I really do. And maybe it's at the point where just the accumulation of everything in general that has been going on, you know, within the world, that people eventually, it just it catches up with them. And maybe places like social media is just the outlet where they're letting all of that out. You know, who knows? Maybe out in public, you see all these people together. They realize they're much different. They're not going to react the same way. Um, But, you know, I just... My... Kumbaya. My Kumbaya. My Kumbaya time. I just want everybody to get along, you know. Um, We should all come together as Washington... Commanders, Redskins, fans, whatever you want to call yourselves, you know, uh, this this team, this franchise is what brought us together. And I think we are going to have some good times with this team at some point. I think it's coming soon. I think we just need to be a little bit patient, a little bit more patient. Um, I'm not saying that we should, you know, hold off for another five to ten years. Um 
maybe a little less patient than that, but we need to be patient. All right, I got to go. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a strange video. Probably it's going to get like maybe two or three views. That's fine, you know. I range anywhere from 10,000 views to three views. I mean, that's... I have a weird algorithm it seems like when it comes to my my uh channel anyway um you know like it share it whatever you want to do with it throw it in the trash can um see ya